Gotham City is plagued with uncontrollable corruption. The streets are infested with criminals, many of which are enemies of Batman. The city has been hit with high crime rates for decades, and even the Dark Knight cannot handle it alone. One of the most iconic characters in DC is Commissioner James Gordon, or Jim for short. Gordon is most recognizable for his usage of the bat signal, but of course, there was a lot more to the character than that. If you are a Batman fan, you surely know that Jim Gordon is a very good man, and an even better cop. He wants to see his city thrive, even when it has been infested with crime. In today's character analysis video, I'm going to be taking a deeper look at Jim Gordon to see exactly what goes on inside of his head and where his priorities are. Be sure to support my channel by subscribing for more DC Comics content. When Jim first came to Gotham City, he didn't really understand how the city operates or how corrupt it is. He began as an officer, then moved up to a captain, and finally became the police commissioner. But it took a lot of hard work. Not only has Jim experienced the crime of the city firsthand, but he has also been pushed around during his career. In Batman Year One, Jim was assaulted by his own co-workers in a parking lot so that they could establish a hierarchy. Eventually, Jim gets revenge on the lot, but also understands that the criminals are not the only corrupt group in the city. About halfway through Batman Year One, a panel is shown where Jim takes a moment to reflect on the pressures that have been placed onto him. Keep in mind, he is still new to Gotham City in this book. He has been having an affair, his co-workers continue to be a threat, and he has had conflicting opinions on Batman. He says, quote, But I'm a cop in a city where the mayor and the commissioner of police use cops as hired killers. And he saved that old woman. He saved the cat. He even paid for that suit. The hunk of metal in my hands feels heavier than ever. End quote. The hunk of metal that he is referring to is the gun that he holds in his hands. Jim feels that his responsibility to be an honest officer of the law has doubled since he arrived in Gotham. I think he is also referring to the guilt that he felt from having an affair. Jim Gordon's relationship with Batman was very rocky at first. He thought of him as a criminal rather than Gotham's protector. But after saving his son, Batman was seen as less of a threat in Jim's eyes. Eventually, the two of them begin working together, even though Batman works outside of the law. Commissioner Gordon has had a lot of the same enemies as Batman, the Joker in particular. For those of you who have read The Killing Joke, you know why Gordon hates him so much. Not only is he a madman who wreaks havoc on his city, but he shot Jim's daughter Barbara, paralyzing her below the waist. After the Joker harmed his family, Jim's hatred for him flared. Like Batman, Jim Gordon cares deeply about Gotham. To me, this is a little bit strange since he did not grow up in Gotham and was not forced to love it. But he decided to look past the smoke and dirt of it all. He decided to become the bigger person and do as much good as he could in such a corrupt place. Batman is like this as well. He looks past the poor nature of the city and tries to mold it into something better. It makes sense why Batman and Jim became such good friends. They both share the common goal of justice for their city. By no means is Jim Gordon a perfect person. Like any interesting character, he has flaws. But the thing is, he has a much better moral code than many of the police officers in Gotham City, and arguably many of its civilians. Maybe there is something about Gotham that corrupts people. In the world of comics, there are so many superheroes dressed in capes and masks. It is nice to have such an iconic hero be a police officer for once instead of a Justice League member. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about Commissioner Gordon in this video. I will see you all in the next one. So for now, take care everyone.